Hey, this is Moo, and welcome back to Mountain Blade, The Adventures of Dogface McPoop Pants. Just come back from a couple of uh, rather successful trips, and look what's waiting for us. These guys were all sieging Atrox Castle, and I'd like them to keep sieging Atrox Castle for a very uh, selfish reason. I want to have a siege defense, because uh, I haven't done one yet in this run-through, and I want to hoard tons and tons of experience. So I wonder if we just stay here. Let's try waiting here and see if they go back to sieging. Nope. King Ragnar. But King Ragnar wants us. Ah, uh, that didn't work. You know what? I don't even know where King Ragnar is. I don't really care either. I just want to see what... I'm kind of ticked off that they that they ran away. Okay. Uh, so now Kolmar... Oh, okay. Here they come. They were all running towards Kulmar to chase that one guy, seize you for a second, and then turn around again. So hopefully if I run over here, I'll be out of their sight distance. Oh, who's that? Oh, this is Serta. Let's ask him where... Let's see where Ragnar is. He is at Sargoth, and I just don't... I'd rather kill these guys than listen to... Are they going back? Did they go back? Yeah, they went back. Oh, shit, no, don't run away! Okay, they're still sieging. Let's camp out over here, because we'll be able to see when they go in. I'm just waiting for... If Dawn shows up and I see a fight there... Oh! Yes! Okay, they're fighting. This is good. Let's upgrade the guys who need to be upgraded. Okay, so on a siege defense, uh, I want to go heavy archer. Which means that these guys will show up in front. I actually want them to show up in front of Jeremus, because I don't want to risk losing him. I have to be able to stay alive. Alright, let's see how they're doing. There are, looks like, 300 something versus 100. This will be easy. I can't remember what the layout of a trust castle. They all have different layouts. Some of them are easier or harder to defend. Find out. Okay. Yeah, you can defend against many more than this. Uh, we probably won't get through all of them because there's a limit on how many people can charge at once in one battle. One battle sequence. But um, we should be able to kill a ton of guys. And all I have is... Uh, I don't like this setup at all. Okay, if I can get up into that turret... Get out of my way, jerks! What I want to get is a vantage point on this ladder, right about here. And hopefully I'm far enough that I won't be spotted. Ah, ah shit, who's shooting me? Somebody shot me already? God damn. Probably one of my own guys. And then I can just keep plugging right here. Keep an eye out for crossbows. And let's see. I'm gonna hit him. There we go. I get a lot of headshots this way. Yeah, when these Rodox attack, sometimes I can switch back to crossbow while they're going up the ladder. Although, I have a feeling that was one of my own guys who hit me by accident. Oh, gain a level. Now, siege defenses also don't do your own party any good, as far as morale. You just do them the whore experience and defend your territory. I don't care so much about defending this territory. I just want to shoot people. Just what you want to hear from your uh, battle leader. I don't care if you guys die, I just want to shoot a lot of people.
That guy still has a crossbow out. Keep an eye on that guy too. Screw him. I wonder if anyone can see me who's like shooting at me. I don't think so. Shit. 48 arrows. You see now why I took like one bow and three buckets of arrows. If I ever run out, I'm just gonna go find a dead archer and pick his up. No, come on. I'm not hitting. Oh, there might be some. Yeah, there might be some crossbowmen down there. Can see me. If I get hit again, because I know. God damn. I don't know. Hi, Frankie. You think it's dinner time, don't you? It's actually killing time. Ah, some sergeants got over the top. You see the massive experience game that's going on though. We're just killing so many guys. It's an investment in the future. Siege defense is like a scholarship, I guess. Okay. Hang on, you spoiled dog. I'll give you a snack and a bit. Let me just murder these people. Nine arrows. And another wave of enemies is still coming. Wow, that guy's a close guy. I'm trying to kill that guy, but... Oh, okay, I'm out. Let's find some dead archers. Now, of course, if you don't find a dead archer, you can always pick up a pole arm or something like that. Shit. Of course, this area is a little bit crowded right now. You guys move. Oh my god. Come on. And there's some kind of sound button over here. It's probably someone who's just stuck on this ramp. I can also fire from here. I don't like this angle as much. I think it's a little more vulnerable. Yeah, with the unbelievable murder potential of siege defenses, you can, I mean, you can, as long as you have pretty good archery troops, you can take on, like, whoa! And you don't get shot like that, you can take on, like, five times your number in a defense. Whoa! Yeah, knocked out. That sucks. I lost two morale. Alright, I lost a trained footman, an archer, and or blah, blah, blah. Fighting continues. I think, okay, the enemy's full force to retreat, the assault is over, the siege continues. Okay, well, we lost a little bit of morale, but the amount of experience we got was incredible. Now, the problem is we're stuck here. Not really much of a problem. So, now, I think I've cut them down to like 42 troops. That was a lot faster than I thought. So now I am going to... Germans back into position. I'm gonna level up Bunduck and myself. Let's see. Tell me about your skills. Ah. Okay. Bunduck is quite deficient in a couple of areas. Most importantly, let's see, he's got Weapon Master for a while. He needs Horse Archery up. And 
Uh, let's give him Power Strike. Then we can go back to Strength Training or whatever. And then I'm going to have to look at my own skills. And I'm going to Charisma 18. Now here's the thing. when uh, You'll notice that my party capacity has been going up steadily, even though I haven't been raising my Charisma. That's because the size of your party, a lot of it is governed by how famous you are. Like the more crazy battles you win, the more renown you get, and then the larger your party. The thing that that doesn't help is keeping your party happy when it's near your maximum. So uh, your morale can suffer. Like you can have like a zillion guys in your party, but your morale is going to suck. Leadership actually helps out your morale. So I'm going to do leadership, and I suppose, yeah, you know, yeah, I may as well do prisoner. And then dump a couple points into archery. And I'm done. I'm about half, a little left, less than half health, but that should be enough. Now I'm going to switch out my inventory. So it's not totally embarrassing. There, that's my standard loadout. And I'm going to charge the guys that are left. I think, I hope this isn't a bad idea. Actually, let me get away first. Yeah, there's like a hundred and... Okay. 151 versus 68. That's pretty good odds. I'll take that. Especially since most of the best troops should be pin cushioned already. Oh, they're backing up. Now I just gotta be careful because the crossbow boats can really do me in here. It's going to take a long time for these guys to get over here. Uh, hmm. Where should I put them? I could put them here or in that next rise. You know what? I'm going to put them... Hmm. I'll put them over here. It's going to be a little more room to play with stuff. And now I'll start providing a little bit of horse archer cover. What's going on here? Oh, I forgot. There's another group of idiots involved, and they're going to screw my whole strategy up. That's all right. I made this possible. Me and my getting knocked unconscious. Stop shooting my dudes. Your shoe sting. They are really taking it. This is a beautiful spot they got. Huge, huge archery cover. Are my guys in place yet? Yeah, they are. And they're shooting. Wow, there's almost no room for me to maneuver back here. They're like right at the edge. You exploiters. You dirty exploiters. Well, here's what I think about that. Let's force the issue by getting them to run down into our into our allies' troops. How many more waves? I kind of wonder where the waves are. There they are. You guys move in a little bit. And let's distract them away from the hill. Well, killing them is distracting. Mm. 
That's like Jane says. I just want to scare. Him. Just scary. And more enemies. It sounds like they popped up right behind me. Everyone just kill everyone. <laughs> Shit. Forgot how low I was on hit points. I can't really afford to do this very much. Just kind of casually waltzing through the battlefield with a saber and a gaping abdominal wound. That's the other thing about fighting with a melee weapon on horseback. If you're swinging like this, you pretty much always have to fight uphill. And with a dog whining at you. There's a couple left. Those are my reinforcements? How do I get reinforcements? Oh, I must have wasted a bunch of what's his name's troops. I don't think I took that many hits, like my guys. I don't know. Gone. I think there should be one more wave. Yeah, I only took six wounded. Doctor's not one of them. Yeah, he took 27. And here we go. So I should have comparatively more guys this time. Let's find out. Let's just see if they're advancing. Kind of doubt it. The Rodox tend to troll a lot more. I mean, it makes sense. They're really well suited. You just... I don't know about this formation, though. I think there's a... Exposing all their cross moment up front. I guess it makes sense if you think, like, if you advance slowly towards that line, then at a certain point they break and their infantry charges through you. That makes perfect sense. Wow, that was a lot of things. Let's try and park our infantry way the hell up here. Oh, wow. They did it again. They're right at the edge. Well, all right. I have to get kind of close in order to set this up. I have... Oh, I only have two followers. This isn't even worth it. I'm trying to screen. Except that the our fantastic ally is totally screwing things up. Not moving ahead fast enough. Well... Let's just see what happens. I mean, hopefully we have enough num numerical superiority. In it looks like he's got some scrubby troops there, so we might have enough troop quality superiority to make up for it. I hope. Yeah, they're breaking now. Don't fucking shoot me. Yeah. There. I have a bunch of melee horse. There we go. Everyone go. We're gonna get most of the XP and money out of this. Screw that other dude. Oh, and they showed up right behind us? Well, that sucks. Oh my god. Yeah. They showed up right in the middle of our archery line and lost two marks. Unbelievable. I was a little afraid that would happen. Sister alone. Yep. Good. Lord Gunder gained eight points with him. Wow. For saving his ass. There were a lot of lords there. Don't tell me. I I captured none of them. Ugh. Oh well.
It's probably because I knocked them all out during the siege, actually. Okay, let's just take these guys and stash them. There's still 42 guys in here. Are they not... What are they doing? I don't think... We're not in great shape. Okay, we'll see if they engage one of these guys, and if they do, we'll turn around. Yeah, they're engaging. Fine. Let's go. Yeah, I know we're wounded. Shit. Getting away. I don't... He's faster than us. Screw it. Frankie! What? What do you want? Why is there still battle noises? Who's fighting? Oh, they caught up. Um, that was like the saddest battle of all time. Both of the lords are at like 13%. Well, I can't let Gunder die. I guess I could, but... Actually, one of the best things you can do to make a lord like you is to rescue them from imprisonment. So, if I got really lucky, Gundor would get captured by this guy, and then I would free him. But let's save him for now. Yeah, there they are, they're doing it again. I don't see any advancing. Nope, they're just gonna hold up there and pepper with crossbow fire, which is fine, that's what they should be doing. Logically. Alright, let's turn around here. Set this up. Ah, fuck, and then I have to get some distance because I do not like getting shot when I'm this low at points. Oh my god. Do I have any followers? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, five now. Ugh, I guess that's enough. There's a little room for me to get them around the back. We're doing well. Who the hell can tell? I know if my horse goes down here, I'm in a lot of trouble. I also know my dog is crying at me. Oh, is that it? Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's just pull down the line here. Woohoo! That's fun. And then, let's see. Let's try and get back here. Where's my steadfast ally? Is he fighting? I can't tell. Oh, no, he's still fucking... <sighs> taking a leisurely jaunt. Fine, here, go. Who's close? Before I need more, more of you dying needlessly. There they are. I guess by accident they wanted them to the place. New enemies, where are they? Didn't see where they popped up. I think they'd be down in this valley. Yeah. There. Yeah. There we'll go. Have fun. Once again, I save Captain Douchebag. Well, we managed to sell off a whole bunch of prisoners. 
Uh, but there's nothing good to buy, so now we're sitting on a lot of money, which is fine. The dog thinks I'm talking to her, and it says Atroska is still under siege, but I think that's... Oh, wait. Someone just showed up. Oh, one guy. Can I catch him? No, no way. Woo, look at him go. Oh, I'm supposed to show up to help, uh... What's his face? Still at Sargoth. Do I have time to make it? I don't know. I have one day. Maybe not. I might I might lose this quest. I don't care, because I was beating the shit out of everyone. It's funny how he's like, Oh, you didn't attend me while I was sitting around in Sargoth doing nothing. You said you were, like, laying waste to our enemies. <laughs> we should get his complaint any second now. Oh, here he is. Let's see if we make it. We're like 30 feet from him, and he might send us like a nasty gram. Oh, no. Uh... Somehow I feel worse about actually making it to this quest. Devil? Oh look, here comes the frickin' The Swadians are coming over the hill. No more Sanguza Castle and Yargar. Alright. Sure you don't want me to help you, like, Beat the shadow people? Nope, nope, gotta find out about those places way the hell over here. Of course, one of them is right over that hill. You know what? Let's see what happens here. It looks like... Oh, they're gonna chase them away. Oh, I still have time to attack. Kurgat Karnit declares war against the Vigors. Okay, whatever. Looks like these guys are gonna break off. Can I take 139... What do they have? Eight knights, 16 men arms. That's kind of a lot. Eh. Dog Facebook poop pads! I already know what I'm facing. Tons of cavalry. Get up on this hill now. They are. All cavalry over here. Frankie, I will... Alright, fine. I will feed you. Even though it's way too early for your dinner. In fact, I'll feed you as soon as I kill these cavalry, because then we'll have plenty of horse meat. Now, those guys look like they were going to break for a second. Uh, yeah, here they come. Alright, most of them are heading up the hill. It's fine, it's what we want. Handle that very badly. Pretty sure that's the way. First casualty, my doctor.
Whatever oh. reason he's about to murder all my boxmen. Shit. Get out of my way, jerk. <clears throat> See what you make me do? Fuck, fuck. Oh my god. Just didn't block in time. No more casualties. They took four extras. Alright, I lost a warrior, and of course I'm my hit points are now cut. Oh, and I lost my doctor, which means my hit points are really cut. This could be bad. 72 to 100. Gotta be really careful now. Okay, where are these jerks? Uh, is that them? Oh, they're... No way! What do they have to be scared of? It didn't kill that many other cavalry. Before I got knocked out. Fine. behind this hill so I don't get shot. Just getting out of position. And there they are. Wow. Pretty far away. Here. It's a lot of bolts. Oh my god. Okay, I have some followers left. Not really enough. Where are you guys going? Didn't I tell you to get up on that hill? If I screwed up my orders, I'm going to be really upset. No, they're all moving that way. It's just taking forever to do it. Some of my arch horse archers would probably get hung up here. So we're out of the field of fire of most of their crossbowmen, which means we can get a free shot at dismounting some of their knights, maybe? Uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe they're just going to charge for us. And I have to be super careful, because... Don't stop, don't stop moving. Crap. Get out of my way, jerk. 
Oh, uh, they just walked up here. Oh, fuck. No! Leave Sword Sister alone! Oh, well. That was a mess. Ah, shit. Don't shoot me. Dick. Fucking hate you. Okay. Inventory can go ahead. Lost a marksman, man at arms, Huskarl, plus the guys who lost last time. Alright. Mop them up and get the hell out of here, because, God. What do I, I have, I have a few knights left as far as cavalry goes. What do they have? I don't see, I don't see any cavalry. Oh, I have... Who do I have here? Oh, Lane's still alive, and then a bunch of knights and some other arms. Okay. Well... I think we're in pretty good shape. I don't get too cocky, because I have, like, three hit points left. Screen a little bit. Yeah, we're behind you. Fire this way, kinda. Don't... Not too well, though. Go. got away, of course. Ah! I, I really wish I could get involved in that. I hope I don't get in trouble with uh, King... Oh, who do I care? Look what I just did. Look what I just pulled off. My wounding status. Ragnar can suck it. No, we have to go back and follow Ragnar still. Oh, we have to scout these towns. Oh, we have time. Uh, but considering all that we've just been through, I think I'm going to have to pick that up next time. Thanks for watching.